Hello and welcome to my first makeup tutorial ever! I'm going to start off with a mixture of Makeup Store Matte Foundation and Milk and Olive. Since the one day I spent at the beach this summer made me just a hint too dark to just use the milk one. I'm putting this all over my face with a beauty blender. Then I'm going in with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC15, mainly under the eyes using the same beauty blender uh, and I'm also using it to highlight the area around my nose and concealing some dark areas in the rest of my face. The next step is to set this with a translucent powder, also from Makeup Store, and it's also called Milk. I'm using a large powder brush from Makeup Store uh, in number 373 all over my face to just set this. Then I'm going to contour my face with a bronzing powder called Suntouch from Makeup Store. I'm applying this with a Sigma Tapered High Highlighter Brush, number F35. This is a matte bronzer and I love it. I'm applying it just below my cheekbones and at the top of my forehead and slightly at the temple and just some touches at the rest of my face to just give it a more complete look. Next I'm going to use the Makeup Store blush in Coral Lace and just gently touching it over my cheeks. I really really love the coral shades of blushes. I'm just going to comb through my eyebrows and then I'll fill them in with a Anastasia Perfect Brow Pencil in Brunette. I'm kind of pickish about my eyebrows so I'm speeding this up for you guys. Then I'm using a Sumita brow set pen, just quickly adding some moisture to my dry lips. I'm using a high tech lighter in Platina from Makeup Store as a primer for my eyeshadows. This is kind of sticky so you have to blend it out carefully. Just so you know that it won't crease when you put the eyeshadow on. I recently bought this eyeshadow from Makeup Store and it's got a tricky name. It's called, wait for it, it's a marble eyeshadow anyway. 
It's called Rosso Asiago and it's kind of a goldish I'm having difficulties showing it to you guys. It's kind of a goldish brownish coral ish 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 shadow. <laughs> but I love it anyway. Um I'm just going to pack this on with my finger because I think you get the most out of the color if you do that. I'm going to use Cyber Shadow Bloom from Makeup Store and I'm applying it with a big blending brush also from Makeup Store and it's called 116. It's a really, really big fluffy blending brush, so I'm only using this for applying, applying eyeshadow in the crease. Next I'm using two Makeup Geek shadows called Mango Tango and Burlesque. I'm using them in the crease and I... Oh wow, that's a lot of color. And just blend, blend, blend. <laughs> that's the key. I'm putting some eyeshadow under my eyes just to give it a complete look. And then I'm going to look like I'm possessed. Just, you know. I don't know why. Next, I'm using this eyeshadow from Emite. I don't know how to pronounce it. Makeup. It's a Swedish brand. And um, it's really, really black. And I'm just gently touching it in the crease to just give it a more smoky, a little, a little, 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 little touch of a smoky eye. This is the first time I'm trying this Isadora Face Sculptor Highlighter and it's kind of tricky to open. <laughs> oh, like that. I'm using just the highlighter under my eyebrow. And then my battery died, but I used the same highlighter to highlight my cheeks. A lot of first times in this movie. This is the first time I'm using a gel eyeliner and this one is from Makeup Store. I'm applying this with a flat synthetic brush. I thought I had an angle like synthetic brush that I was supposed to use for this tutorial but I couldn't find it and that that made me kind of meh. This brush wasn't optimal for applying gel eyeliner. This is my new love, the Luminae Blueberry Wild Curl Waterproof Mascara. And I, oh, I really love it. I've been looking for a new favorite mascara since they stopped selling the Maybelline Define Lash Mascara here in Sweden. And I think I might have found it. This is actually a lip liner from Makeup Store called Graceful, but I'm using it in the waterline just to give the eye up, pop. For lips, I'm using the Isadora Twist Up Gloss Stick in Wine Red. 
and actually I was thinking that this look would have a kind of coral lip but when I was looking through my lipsticks lip glosses I found this and I thought I haven't tried this yet so I might give it a try and then I looked in the camera and I saw that it looked like it was a like hot pink color or like really really purple color color and it's not I'll show you what it looks like and here you have the finished look thank you guys for watching I'll see you later bye